You can use this app to log your scuba dives. To access the logbook, go to the Open Mode menu. Tap on Scuba Diving, then tap on Logbook. The first time you use the app, your logbook is empty. You can add a log in three different ways. Manually, just tap the plus icon and then tap the Enter Manual Log button. Using a blue buddy, tap the plus icon, then select the Download Log from Blue Buddy. Please watch the Blue Buddy video for more information on how to download a log from a Blue Buddy device. Diving. When diving, if you're using an iPhone 5, as soon as you begin your descent, hold the button 4 to start a new dive log. Then, as soon as you return to the surface, hold again the button 4 to save the dive log into the logbook. If you're using an iPhone 4S, hold both buttons 1 and 3 to start or stop a dive log. If you create a log using this method, all the images you will take during the dive will be automatically associated to that specific log. Please note that this is a premium feature and requires a DivePal license. Once you have created a log, it will show up in your logbook. To view a log, just tap on it. A log has several sections. They are General, Dive Summary, Dive Profile, Dive Site, Conditions, Gear, Details, Gallery, and Signature. You can use the General section to create a summary of a dive. If you tap on the log icon, the app will show you a menu that allows you to replace the default icon. Tap anywhere on the text in the general section and you will be able to customize the title, the dive number, and the privacy settings. Note that the app automatically assigns an incrementing dive number, but you can change it as you want. The privacy setting is used when you save your logs to the DivePal cloud system. Most of the items included in the dive summary sections are either created by BlueBuddy or are automatically calculated by the app. The dive profile section allows you to view the depth time profile of your dive. If the log was created manually, you can use this section to graphically enter the depth time profile of your dive. You can also use this section to analyze a dive Later on in this tutorial, we will show you how to analyze a dive. The Dive Sites section allows you to associate a dive to a specific dive site. Watch the Dive Sites video to learn how to use existing dive sites or to create new ones. You can use the Conditions sections to record visibility and temperature. The gear section is automatically filled in with the data you have predefined in your gear set. After the dive, you might want to adjust the tank pressures so the app can properly calculate your gas consumption. You can use the details section to add more specific information. In the gallery section, you can store images that you would like to associate to this dive. Please note that if the log was created while diving, then in this section you will find all the pictures you took during that specific dive. And lastly, you can use the signature section to have your instructor or dive master or buddy sign your electronic log book. Once you're done editing a log, you can share it with your friends using various services such as email, Twitter, Facebook, and DivePal. DivePal is our free online system that allows you to share logs with your friends. You can also use DivePal to store your logs online and to sync them across multiple devices.